Hello, my name is Ingrid Pollard. I am the 2024 recipient of the Hasselblad Award. Well, when I got the phone call about the Hasselblad Award, I, I wondered if it was a scam or someone just making a joke or they got the wrong person even. And I just carried on with the conversation. Um, you know, we agreed this was a great idea and then talked about a little bit and then put the phone down. It took a few days for me to think, oh gosh, yes, it was me they meant because then the email came through and I was thinking, oh wow, this is kind of brilliant. And I, you know, investigated and looked at all the photographers who got it in the past, got the award in the past. And I was thinking, oh, it's in such illustrious company. So it was kind of, you know, it's a growing thing. You can begin to understand and appreciate what the award means. <laughs> well, tell you about myself, that's a kind of, was a challenging question. In terms of photography, it's something I've always done from being very young, you know, like less than, probably about 10 years old, going away for kind of youth, hos youth holidays and take cameras and then using photography in school to photograph geography or anything like that. So it's always been around. My parents were, they had lots of photo albums and they took lots of pictures themselves, but that was like the holiday thing and the parties. Whereas um, when I started to pick up the camera, it was, it felt very comfortable. And I was around with other artists who were um, using photography in lots of different ways. And there's something about holding a camera and you have to be a little in love with your camera. So that was always there. And the handling's very nice. And then by extension, the dark room. So all of that, the physicality of analog photography was always very powerful for me. And strangely, kind of very, very, very early photographic history, you know, Fox Talbot, Julie Mark Cameron, that very early work because they were sort of scientists, artists at the same time and breaking new ground all the time. And the early kind of 1920s, the sort of printmaking the way that photography was linked with it, early developments of 35mm camera, all that. You know, I love reading all of that and finding out and looking at that work. So it changes. There's particular points in photographic history that I'll jump in. I want to know about that. So it's, it's an ever-changing um, delight in phot photography. Well, starting projects is always very... Um, I don't know if there's a particular spot. Usually I have an idea that I've been thinking about for a few years or I'll see something. And if it's a commission, it's usually an area that I'm interested in anyway. Um, and there's always a lot of reading and research and looking looking wildly, w widely in terms of photography as well as other art forms, commentary, research. But a lot of the time, um, there's so many ideas in my head I'm never going to do them all during my lifetime so I'm never someone who's never short of an idea so it's usually picking one that's right or um, can work on something over like 20 years which I've done and then it gets realized in an exhibition recently so that gives me a chance to try out lots of things about it so to a point where you have to stop I have to stop doing it now and it's that finish point and that's how it stays so that happens quite a lot with the, the award coming at this point in my life when I'm quite mature and have some sort of sense of where I could go in terms of photographically or artistically or research or travelling, there's lots more opportunities open to me, you know, open to be ambitious, you know, as I rise in terms of uh, prestige or acknowledgement, there's a chance to bring up, raise other younger photographers, enable people in terms of research. That's what's kind of exciting, what I can actually do with that funding that's extending outside of myself, which I intend to do. And it gives me a bit more time to develop a project that it's not chasing the picture or chasing something. I, you know, I can lead with where the project I'm doing with a bit more time.